Boo. <laughs> and what are you doing in my neck of the woods? Mm. You do realize that tonight is the night, yes. The darkest night of the entire year. Metaphorically, of course. The night when the boundaries between your world and the paranormal are at their weakest when magic is at its strongest and evils lurk around every corner. You do realize this, yes. Well then, let me ask you, what are you doing in the middle of a forest in the dead of night? on tonight of all nights. If I didn't know any better, you would perhaps be out looking for trouble, yes. Do not run. I can see you glancing around. There is no running. I have caught you. <sighs> and you are lucky that something else did not. So tell me, why, foolish little wanderer, are you out here in the middle of my woods? <laughs> A magical cat boy. <laughs> A magical cat boy in the middle of the woods. <laughs> and who told you this? Hmm. Those ignorant townspeople, with no knowledge of the magical world, just rumors and speculation as they browse their televisions and their technologies and live so safe and secure thinking magic isn't real. They're the ones that told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little one. I believe you've been tricked. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I believe somebody must have a grudge against you. For you see, all manner of terrible things roam these woods. And I assure you, there is no magical cat boy out here. There is only me and the rest of the creatures of the night. And what am I? <laughs> Surely you jest. I am a vampire. Yes, yes, creature of the night who stalks unwary prey and such, of course, of course, all that. Everything you've heard, it's true, it's true. Am I going to drink your blood? That is simply very uncivilized. Who told you this? Is this something common that you and your modern society believe? That's disgusting. No, no. Vampires are different. What you are thinking of is a hemomancer, and typically they do not drink the blood. They merely use it to their magic, although that is still rather uncouth. I must admit. Tell you what, I'll help you dispel these disgusting rumors of vampires if you accompany me back to my manor and stay as my guest for a period of time. I wouldn't recommend refusing me, not unless you want something else to find you in these woods. Something more... dangerous. And your magical cat boy would most certainly not come to your aid. Well, simply reach out and hold my hand. Calm down. I'm sure you're not used to <laughs> such magic. Yes, it was a teleportation spell. I may not be the magical cat boy you sought out, but I do know my own magic, of course. And yes, magic is real, despite what many of you say back in your society. 
We are simply on the fringe, out of sight, but just barely. <laughs> now then, you had some superstition that vampires drank blood. Well, I can assure you that that is not what my fangs are for. No, no, no. You see, vampires are feared because they stalk and prey upon those who are full of negative emotions, whether they be subconscious or at surface level, whether it's a mental fear deep down or a surface level fear of being stalked through the night. And you see, when we capture our prey, which would be you in this case, we nibble our fangs against them, and without causing physical harm or pain, we draw the negative emotions magically through the surface of their skin and into our own bodies for sustenance. Yes. There are some beings which feed like this as well off of negative emotions, and they are drawn to it. But vampires are the cream of the crop. <laughs> the apex predators of negative emotions, if you will. And yes, you are within my manor. I will get you quarters later. You are going to be staying here for a time. You do not have a choice. Shush. Hmm. So... Why don't you have a seat here with me? Yes, on my lap. Come on. Right here in front of my fireplace. There we are. And now... <laughs> I have wrapped you in my cloak. Ah, you see the extraction of negative emotions and the feeding that we do is a gentle process. And... You do not have to worry. I shall gently pat your head as I numb you. <laughs> you won't feel any pain, don't worry. Hum. 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 See, it does not hurt. You will feel all of your negative emotions exit your body as I feed upon them. Do not worry. You are safe here from the creatures of the night. Well, I suppose except for myself. It's pleasant, isn't it? Yes. And I detect much negative emotion in you, so perhaps I shall keep you for a bit, for a time, to feed upon you until you feel 100% free of negative emotion. Although, no person is free from negative emotion forever, so perhaps Perhaps you may visit again after your stay for me to feed once again.
sorry if it tickles a bit. I know having your ears numbed is <laughs> a bit ticklish. Hum, hum. But I'm sure it feels nice. Hum, hum. Hum, hum. Don't you know that the ears are the best place for magic to enter and exit the body? Hum, hum, hum. They're like conduits. Hum. Receiving external stimulus from the world. If you don't mind me saying, you are quite delicious. Or I suppose your energy is. <laughs> and after I am finished, you should feel freer of thought, cleaner in your mind and happier. Um, um, um. However, I can already tell this may take a while of daily feedings to free you of your negative emotions. someone, someone who has something out against you, and this has been causing you a subconscious negative response, I shall eliminate it. There we are, a very weak brand. some sort of hex upon you. Not a symbol I know of, certainly not that of any deity. Something man-made. Um, um, um. um, um, um. um, 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 If you fall asleep, it is okay. Um, um, um. That is only a natural reaction. My servant shall attend to you and get you set up in your quarters. You shall awaken in a plush room, and I shall keep you for a time um, um, um. to feed upon you, and I suppose it shall be mutually beneficial, wouldn't you agree? Um, um, um. Um, um. Just rest now. Rest now, my little brain. Although, I do hope we can become friends, truly. Um, um, um. It has become quite lonely out here recently. Um, um. But never you mind.